wonderful wonderful i think it's all good so i'm going to read this at a rapid clip i hope you guys have been reading the only thing worse than being lied to is not knowing you're being lied to of course it's true that plastic pollution is a huge problem of planetary proportions and it's true that we could all do more to reduce our plastic footprint the lie is that blame for plastic problem is wasteful consumers and that changing our individual habits will fix it here i am trying to prevent plastic and this guy is saying this is a lie let's read this further Recycling plastic is to saving the earth what hammering a nail is to halting a falling skyscraper. Oh, brilliant. I can already sense what, where he is getting at. He is saying the problem sits elsewhere. They are making individuals feel guilty and doing all kinds of things. But you probably have present this much of the solution and the giants are being left. I am thinking the giants are going to be either uh, large countries or large corporations. And you struggle to find a place to do it and feel pleased when you succeed. That is true. That is true. But your effort is wholly inadequate and distracts from the real problem of why the building is collapsing in the first place. The real problem is that single-use plastic, the very idea of producing plastic items like grocery bags, which we use for an average of 12 minutes but can persist in the environment for half a millennium, is an incredibly reckless abuse of technology. So far, it's not landed the blame on someone else. I'm expecting either... large economies or large corporations to come into the picture encouraging individuals to recycle more will never solve the problem of a massive production of single use plastic that should have been avoided in the first place he's saying don't produce these things don't don't bypass the problem by saying why don't you people recycle as an ecologist and an evolu- and evolutionary biologist i've had a disturbing window into the accumulating literature on the hazards of plastic pollution thanks to mass media so have we we have also seen this and Scientists have long recognized that plastics biodegrade slowly, if at all, and pose multiple threats to wildlife through entanglement and consumption. That is true. More recent reports highlight dangers posed by absorption of toxic chemicals in the water and by plastic odors. Fine, so beginning in the 1950s, big beverage companies like Coca-Cola and Anheuser-Busch, I don't know who they are, along with Philip Morris and others, formed a non-profit called Keep America Beautiful. How oh, brilliant! and keep america beautiful run by philip morris and coca cola the irony is uh, rich here when i am anti corporate so i hope you, that much is obvious i think its mission is was to educate and encourage environmental stewardship in the public oh brilliant at face value these efforts seem benevolent yeah but they obscure the real problem which is the role that corporate polluters play in the plastic problem this clever misdirection has led journalist and author heather rogers to describe keep america beautiful as the first corporate greenwashing front as it has helped shift the public focus to consumer recycling behavior and actively thwarted legislation that would increase extended producer responsibility for waste management brilliant this type of behavior is rampant and common a bunch of guys now they probably set the tone with this it's like uh, those of you who follow football fine so qatar buying a club emirates buying a club uh, big saudi companies buying clubs when you you keep talking about human rights abuses and all that in in these countries that the, what the role oil plays and fossil fuels and pollution all of that and then they come soon they are playing they are paying your footballers your favorite footballers are being play, paid subtly you realize that they are part of this they are they are part of your own day to day fabric you see the ad you see the picture and you 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 internalize and accept them and you 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 become a hypocrite if you keep complaining about human rights abuses and so the it all gets intermingled and so the problem is created by some group so this this in india it happens frequently and so every company will have a giant corporate social responsibility division and they'll do all kinds of funny things and so large companies the tobacco companies have giant giant uh, pr wings which spend a lot of money saying how tobacco consumption falling is a giant crisis for uh, indian farmers which is probably true but we we'll have to address that problem separately so they all have they do giant amounts of greenwashing that being suggested the greatest success of keep america beautiful has been to shift the onus of environmental responsibility onto the public while simultaneously becoming a trusted name in the environmental movement ah, double whammy i am here to help you it's all your fault so what can we do to make responsible use of plastic a reality first reject the lie litter bugs are not responsibility for the global ecological disaster of plastic and this this is where it gets dicey any time you say look don't do this humans will always say look i will anyway take care of my own thing i will reduce my plastic i will do what i can which is all good but we are all individually uh, so switched on about that and we do all this 
but a part of why we do all this is to reduce our own guilt and somebody is playing us playing us like a banjo playing us wonderfully by con- translating the gift guilt and we do tangible actionable things and then we feel good about ourselves but the plastic kabhi nahi use karta but then the problem of has to be some sitting somewhere else and that completely bypasses it's like saying there are six problems we take the number sixth one millions of people guilt trip themselves and and, and address that one two three get away scot free okay, there's an issue humans can only function to the best of their abilities given time mental bandwidth and systemic constraints our huge problem with plastic is a result of a permissive legal framework that has allowed the uncontrolled rise of plastic pollution despite clear evidence of the harm it causes to local communities and the world's oceans recycling is also too hard in most parts of the us and lacks the proper incentives to make it work well one thing i don't like about the passage is not saying what can be done it basically saying these guys have gotten away with it is the, the author is basically saying the problem should be at the producer level at the corporate level it should be addressed at the producer corporate level there's no point saying human beings can should and recycle and have mechanism for this it alleviates our guilt makes us feel good makes us believe we are doing something and distracts us from chasing the most important culprits and so it's a good passage let's run it which of the following interventions would the author most strongly support i would i'm straight away looking for something that puts the onus on producers or corporates recycling all plastic debris in the sea but no is, recycling is not a solution having all consumers change their plastic consume he, he, we want an answer that focus on producers completely banning all single use plastic bags probably worth it but this is broad based our man says look don't focus on consumers focus on producers on corporates passing regulations targeted at producers that generate plastic done it's a winner beautiful question if you get the crux of the passage you got to recognize that plastic is a problem plastic consumers the problem producer is a problem the author is saying look don't focus on this this is a small part of the big problem focus on this the more you talk about this the more you just get distracted from this so anything that the author is going to recommend or to support is going to be targeted at producers not at consumers not at general the author list all of the following as negative effects of the use of plastics except slow pace of degradation or non degradation of plastics in the environment yeah half a million degrades so this is being mentioned air pollution caused during the process of recycling but no it's not mentioned this is the answer nowhere does he mention air pollution it's the exact kind of answer that you can confidently mark if you don't do some kind of silly skim reading and so if you read in a hurry if you read and skim and think of yourself as a doyen of speed reading and you miss some detail you look at this question and say okay i don't know whether air pollution was mentioned or not let me read again or you skip this question read the first time around nice have a smile laugh get the funda think about what the author is hinting suggesting Uh, see if what you think he is suggesting in the second paragraph is validated in the third your mind should continuously be kind of evaluating oh this is very easy he is going to download on somebody else he is saying consumers are the, not the main culprit it is like taking a hammer and making a uh, build or, or holding up a skyscraper the problem is elsewhere so he is going to download on them and he is going to say these guys are distracted and they are talking about consumers who could that someone be that sentence is a big giveaway hammer on skyscraper the giant support and so so be switched on and figure that out don't be in a mad rush to read don't read too quickly poisonous chemicals released into the water and food we consume yeah he mentioned that up the cycle food chain it keeps increasing adverse impacts on the digestive systems of animals exposed to plastic he mentioned that choice b is an obvious winner in the first paragraph the author uses lie to refer to the oh wonderful he says the lie very clearly is making making us believe that consumers are responsible and consumers play a large role right blame assigned to consumers for indiscriminate use of plastics yeah that is the lie this is this i would look at this unless some other choice says disproportionate blame more than hyper okay, look consumers can also be fixed they can also worry understatement of the enormity of the plastic pollution problem no this is not being hinted at fact that people do not know that they have been lied to that is a pain but that is not the lie understatement of the effects of recycling plastics no he is not understating it he is saying if anything we are overstating it this doesn't play any role he's, his his crib is entirely is you recycle plastic all you want 
but if you if you achieve enormous things you will have you will make the impact of plastic change by 1% you are achieving diddly squat in the big picture by doing a lot of things with recycling plastic so you are probably overstating and so blame assigned to consumers for disparate that is the issue in the second pack of the phrase what hammering a nail is to halting a falling skyscraper a oh, brilliant we already discussed this i like this pack up this basically you're saying talking about some one minuscule thing while leaving out the elephant in the room okay. relying on emerging technologies to mitigate the ill effects of plastic pollution encouraging the responsible production of plastic by firms no no focusing on consumer behavior to tackle the problem of plastic pollution plastic pollution is a big problem producer behavior is the chunk consumer behavior is a small thing the lie is that we have made made to think there's a solution the lie is that we are made to think we are we are part of the big part of the problem hammering a nail is to halting a falling skyscraper do a lot of things here without focusing here choice c focusing on single use plastic back to nah. choice c it is it can be inferred that the author considers the keep america beautiful organization a green wash because it was a benevolent attempt to improve public it was not a benevolent attempt he is thinking of it as a malign and malicious attempt he is saying these five companies who are corrupt or not corrupt but they are they are not really plastic friendly have created this thing to drive public recycling habits make them aware and be the front runner in this in the environmental thing while well, well comfortably lobbying against bringing in any form of regulation on plastic production which is the elephant in the room okay. a sham as it diverted attention from the role of corporates and plastic pollution we have a winner i'm i'm loving this choice i don't think it can be improved upon that ccnd anyway an important step in sensitizing producers to the need to tackle plastic pollution no it's not an important step it's green washing it's a sham right an innovative example of a collaborative corporate social responsibility initiative not nothing he's saying it is humbug it is hogwash it is it is a distraction not an innovative example 